Make sure you're on this side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put my, my hand in, four fingers in, facing me, okay? I can look at my own palm right now. I'm gonna take my other hand around the back and I'm gonna poke the side of my hand and I'm gonna grab his lapel, okay? I'm holding it like a baseball bat. We're doing a baseball choke, okay? I want about one thumb's distance in between my hands. One thumb isn't gonna be perfect for everybody. Some people are gonna want a little bit more, some people are gonna want a little bit less, but I found that a really, really great marker for me is this, and then I drop it, and I know that I need that, that much more than my thumb. You guys might need a little bit more than your thumb, you might need a little bit less than your thumb, but this thumb is a nice reference. If you go like this, there's not gonna be enough space in between your hands to fit his neck. I need some space for his neck. We pop that open, we slide one lapel, palm foot facing us, four fingers in. Now I come around the back, I poke the side of my hand, and I grab four fingers on his other lapel. Now I'm gonna shrimp out, and I'm gonna let him pass my guard. And as I do that, look, I'm gonna start running my feet this direction, and I'm gonna get on my side. Now as I do that, my arms are gonna stay straight. If my right arm stays straight, he's gonna arm arm. It's gonna be a problem. So my right arm needs to bend to my body, and my left arm can start straightening out. As I fall, I curl my wrist. Okay? As he passes the guard, I'm not just gonna hang out right here until I can finish it. I'm gonna run my feet away from him, and I'm gonna face away from him. If you belly down and he takes your back, good, he's going to sleep faster. <laughs> All right? I would prefer you guys stay on side control because you have more mobility and if something bad happens and you lose your control, he's not on your back. But just so you know, if you're baseball choking someone or you're being baseball choked and it gets to the point where you're on someone's back or they're on your back, that choke's going dumb, you're dumb, you're going to sleep. Four fingers in, I reach around the back, my thumb pokes the side of my hand, I stick my thumb into this one. Four fingers on the outside, I shrimp, and I'm gonna let him pass. Now, if I let him pass the wrong direction, if I put my right leg down and he passes the other way, I don't have any way to choke him. Look at my arms, they're not locked, they're not crossed. I need him to pass on the other side. When he passes on the other side, look, my arms start to cross. I run my feet. All my, I might face the ground. And I'm gonna take both of my wrists and I'm gonna turn them away from each other. That's what's gonna drive that pressure in at the end. So right here, right here, come here, and I flex both wrists to the side. That's my finishing touch. Both wrists to the side. Remember, elbow to the ribs. This other arm can straighten, can be bent, kind of depends on what you guys are doing and where you're at. Okay. If you really want, you can boom, and I can actually toss it. Often, you'll end up tossing it, and you can still finish this all the same. Doesn't matter where this goes, okay? So, one more time. I open the lapel up a little bit, I stick four fingers in. I reach around the back, my thumb touches my hand. Thumb goes into the collar. I have four fingers out on this side and thumb out on the other side. I lock that in tight, baseball grip. I shrimp to the side and I let him pass towards the palm that I can see. Don't let him pass towards the back of the hand you can see, pass towards the palm. And as soon as he starts passing, I run my feet to the side. And I can Homer Simpson run, look. Pull my wrist, my arm needs to hit my wrist. Finish him right there. Pull that lapel out. I grab deep behind his neck. So deep, unbelievably deep behind that neck. Keep him. Second hand comes under. I want my fingers to touch. I'm gonna pull my elbows to my ribs. I'm gonna sit my head up by him. I don't want to be back out here where he's gonna be able to fight me. I want to get him tight. And now I curl my wrist so much. He goes in super deep. He's got that second hand in. I come over the bottom arm. If I try and go this way, first off, it's just not gonna work. So one of you is gonna ask me, which way do I go? This way doesn't work. Your hand will come back to your head. In fact, I'm choking myself worse right now. 
Only go the way you can. Choke. And I'm choking on me. Good. I'm golden. He can take an elbow to the ribs all day. Okay. We'll survive. Put the posture up. Okay. Second one. As soon as he gets that in there, I answer the phone, pick my elbow up. Head comes through. I grab that wrist and pop that off if I need to. All right? And Omar goes to answer the phone. He sticks his hand in, he loops his hand through. Oh my, look at those four fingers up! Ah, ah, I think he's gonna grab the back of his neck. Oh, he's out of his choke though. He's out of his choke. I better let him pass my guard too. Oh no! Night night, Omar! So, <laughs> we go X choke. And Omar hits that beautiful defense that we just learned. But oh no, I was ready for it. Boom! I might even force the guard pass. And then we're right back to that baseball choke. Okay? We do a couple times each and the class will be over. You guys need to see that again? Does that make sense? We're just tying the two things together. Okay? He does his answer the phone defense, he locks his head, and he will put his arm exactly where you need it. Exactly. It'll be perfect. One more time? One more time. I can even do this a little bit more subtle. I can either come here and like this. We can hang out right here, double under. And then when he goes, he'll do it for me. I shrew. Out. We'll let him pass that guard. Hey, when you guys do this choke, make sure your arm isn't flat across the front of his throat. I'm just gonna trachea crush him. I'm trying to hit corners of his neck. This corner and this corner, right by the corners of his jaw. His chin is a V, my target is a V. My attacking tool needs to make a V. If it doesn't make a V, it's not gonna work. So I'm in here, I have one side of my V. No V, no V, no V, no V. There's my V. And now I'm V, now I curl those wrists and start V behind you. Okay, and all of your chokes, line their chin V up with whatever your choking mechanism is. Okay? Triangle choke, my legs are the V. Okay, arm triangle. One side of the V here. His arm is the other side of the V. All these other, it's always a V. We're looking for V. Line that chin up, right? 